I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you another excellent question based on sine and cosine law. And I hope solution of this question will help many of our students. Now some of these students want to know the pens which I am using. Here is the type of pen I use for writing. Right? So that is advanced technology pen. I hope you can read it. Right? Um, which is gel technology right so so these are the pens i use i make my diagrams with um, anything which is available in the market on sale right so so i have a variety of such pens to use uh, for my sketches correct but for writing i specifically use these pens which are amazing right so well so it's a reliable fluid ink system, advanced technology. It has some, yeah, it's a gel pen. So I hope that is clear. Now let's get back to the question and see how to solve these questions, right? To find the height of a tree, angles were measured from two points, 100 feet apart, on the opposite side of the tree. Approximately, how tall is the tree? If the angle of elevation from these points is 32 degrees and 38 degrees respectively. So let's sketch the diagram. So let's say that's the ground. Okay. And we're considering two points A and B. And these points are 100 feet away. The angle of elevation is 38 and 32. Let's sketch from this side first. Okay, Let's say this is one angle. And the other angle from the other side. Okay. Let's call this point as C. Let me place the tree right there. Okay, so this becomes our tree. Okay. We have a lot of these evergreen trees here. The angles 32 and 38 degrees. So let this be 32 degrees. And that one 38 degrees. We need to find height of the tree. You can always pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. Now in such questions, those of you who have not done sine and cosine law can treat two right triangles and solve using tan ratios, right? So that is one possibility. Split them into two right triangles and use tan ratios. However, we are going to use sine and cosine rho. So let's first find what this angle C is. Right. So we are given two angles. Let's find the third angle. And this third angle is also opposite 100 feet. So we can now use sine law. So let's find angle C, which is equal to 180 degrees. Take away 32 degrees. Take away 38, right? So that means 70 degrees. So we are left with 110 degrees. So this angle is 110 degrees. Now we can use sine law, correct? Since we have this combination, angle and opposite side, we should find one of these sides. So let's figure out what is C to B, right? So we'll find this particular side. So we can say CB over the opposite angle of 32, sine of 32, should be equal to 100 over sine of 110. So CB is equal to 100 times sine of 32 divided by sine of 110 degrees. So we know CB now. So let's find this angle. Once we find CB, then it is easy, right? We can use tan ratio. So we have 100 times sine 32. We'll divide this by 
sine of 110, we get 56, let's say 0.4. Okay. So we know this side is 56.4 feet. Now to find the height, we can use tan ratio. So we have tan of 38 degrees equal to, sorry, we know this side, right? So we should use sine ratio. Okay, sorry for that. So we have sine of 38 degrees equals to opposite side of H over 56.4, right? So height H is equals to 56.4 times sine of 38 degrees. So we already have that 56 point something. We'll just multiply this by sine of 38 to get our answer. So what we get here is 34.7. So approximately the answer is 35 feet. So B is the right option, correct? So that is how we can get the height of a tree, which in this case is approximated to 35 feet. So I hope you understand and appreciate how to solve such a question. So the idea, this is the shortest method, right? Is to find the third angle. Once you have this combination, you can use sine law. Find one of these sides. You could have found any one of these. So we prefer to find this one. So here, once you find the side CB, then you can consider the triangle Let's call this as C, D, uh, to use the right triangle, right? So let me write down this triangle as we, which we solved is triangle C, D, B. So in this particular triangle, if you see from 38, then this height is the opposite side and that is hypotenuse. So you could use sine ratio to find the height. So sine of 38 is opposite side H over the hypotenuse. So H is product of these two. So we get 35 feet as our answer. Perfect. So that is how you're going to solve it. I hope it helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'll be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.